Okay, great ten. Are you ready? Great ten, are you ready or not? Good afternoon. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Yes, sir. So, could you remember Guru Brahma? Then let's sing together once. Ready? One, two, three, start. Come on, come on. How do you do? Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, everybody, just, just uh, follow me. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheswara, Guru Sachat Para Brahma, Tasmai Sri Gurave Nama, Suklam Brahma Vichara Sar Parama, Adyam Jagat Vyapinim, Bira Pustaka Dari Mavayadam Jaganda Kara Paham Astis Patika Malika Bidadati Padma Sane Samstitam Bande Tamper Mesurim Bhagavatim Buddhi Pradam Saradam Nachaurya Hayam, Nacharaja Hayam, Navatri Vajam, Nachavara Kari, Jayekriti Bardatae Banityam, Vidyadhanam Sarvadhanam Pradhanam, Vidyadhanam Sarvadhanam Pradhanam. Good. Good students. Okay. Now listen. We are missing such situation, right? Because when we used to have regular classes, just before the lesson, you used to chant those mantras in a melodious voice. So, after some days, we'll be having same situation in school. Let the lockdown be off. So probably our classes will run from first of Asar. Let's hope so. Okay, students, you are at home. I'm at destination education hall, but our classes are going smoothly. We are discussing science, chapters of science, grade 10. Three chapters are already completed. They are for classification of elements. And yeah, please tell me. Yeah. Now, now also not coming? Now? Are the strength sound is clear or not? I think that it may be net problem. See? Now, now, can you hear? Can you hear or not? Okay, very crack sound, right? Uh, then it's okay. So let me go down and Stay nearby the net. Okay? Okay, sir. okay just wait a minute. Eh? I'm going down. Or if it comes outside, that is also good. Okay, friends. There was problem in network. I think it was not clear. Now, can you hear the sound? All right. Okay. So in today's class, we are discussing about new topic that is history of the earth. Okay, from astronomy and geology. What is the name of the topic? 
history of the art. I'm going to share the screen. Device storage, can scanner, our class, chain PDF. I have just made here. Share. Now, what does it say? It's shared, right? Can you see something? Okay. Now, and it come? It has come, right? So, history of the art. Title is here. And generally, what happens whenever we study, there is something that objective. What do the students understand? What do they use in their practice? That is called objective. So objective is here. After completion of this topic, you will be able to explain the history of the art. So there are some stories how the art was formed okay so next one is now Bibors and uh, Asok I will on the remove you eh? if you just disturb others I'm going to remove you okay and with this Thamwala Thamwala also will go outside so this is not your place to disturb others if you are not interested please go outside if you are interested with history you come here with the thangwala it is your disturbing place when i say you to speak then only speak otherwise why do you join here maintain discipline it is a for everybody Okay, so history of the art. I was saying about the objectives. So after completion of this, you will be able to explain about the history of the art. How? By reading the rocks and fossils. For growth and fossils. Next one, you will be able to describe how living beings were evolved on the basis of one evidence, what are the evidence, fossils. And next thing, what you can do, you can interpret the mechanism of fossilization. You will be able to explain how fossils are formed and how fossil fuel is formed. Fossil and fossil fuels are different. And next one is describe the importance of mineral oil. Okay, friends, let's discuss now. You know about solar system. So, solar system is the group of one star, sun, and its members. What are the members of solar system? Planets, satellites, comets, asteroids, etc. So, There are some sayings, hypotheses about formation of solar system, how solar system was formed. Do you know, you have studied in class 8 also. There are two theories about formation of solar system. One is formation of the solar system quickly and violently. it formed very fast. Another is formation of solar system slowly and moderately. Some theories they say solar system, sun, earth, moon, they were formed very quickly. In that case there are mainly four hypotheses. What are they? Old planetary hypothesis, nebular hypothesis, 
new planetesimal hypothesis and tidal hypothesis. These are four. It shows, it tells solar system was found in short period of time. But another, formation of solar system slowly and moderately. It says solar system was formed after long time, period of time. And one example is dust cloud aggregation hypothesis. Dear students, what is mentioned here? One new word that is hypothesis. Hypothesis means sayings. Hypothesis means sayings which cannot be which cannot be proved by doing experiment. But it seems true. Okay? What do you think? Is it possible to show the formation of solar system right now? It's not possible. That's why hypothesis are sayings which are true but difficult to prove. And students, one, two students are already omitted from here. Those who unmute their speaker and disturb me, I'll remove them immediately. That's why you be careful. Whenever I say, then only unmute your audio. Okay? Otherwise, there will be a disturbance for your friends and for me also. Is that clear? Okay, now let's continue. What is here? I was saying about hypothesis, which are sayings, seems correct but difficult to prove. Now, here are some hypotheses about origin of the earth. In different time, different scientists put their views about the formation of Earth. So, what is the first hypothesis? The first hypothesis is old planetesimal hypothesis. It means there must be two planetesimal hypotheses. If it is, if one is old, another is new, right? Okay, students. So, who was the scientist to give old planetesimal hypothesis? It was George Buffon. Okay, George Buffon. So, he was the first person to tell about formation of solar system. He gave this theory in 1749 AD. 1749 AD. George Buffon. So, old planetesimal hypothesis, or simply you can say planetesimal hypothesis. What does it say? What does old planetesimal hypothesis say? It says that a huge gaseous mass and a comet, you might have seen or heard about long tail star. That is called comet. Comet and huge mass of gas collided. They came to each other and struck. As a result, very large amount of matter was thrown out of the sun. Means that the huge gaseous mass was sun collided with comet and if we collide two strands, what will happen? Some mass will scatter, isn't it? So here also, large amount of mass or matter was scattered and it was very hot. Those hot bodies cooled and started revolving around the remaining hot matter of sun and solar system was once again, let's remember, old planetesimal hypothesis was propounded by George Buffon in 1749. It says that there was 
use yes yes mass or we can say there was sun at the beginning and it collided with comet due to their collision large mass scattered when it was scattered it cooled down and it started revolving around the sun and solar system came into existence that is which hypothesis old planetary symbol hypothesis who gave this hypothesis george buffon when 1749 now students let's discuss next one nebular hypothesis what a name is there planetary symbol nebular tidal right different so who propounded nebular hypothesis immanuel kant immanuel kant in 1755 ad after 6 years of old planet symbol hypothesis and that a nebular hypothesis was later on modified or improved by laplace l a p l a c laplace french astronomer in 1796 that is nebular hypothesis only but the credit goes to immanuel kant what does it say it says that at the beginning there was a whirling cloud it is called nebula there was one rotating cloud of hot gases and dust that is called nebula so new word we have got right what is that n e b u l a we have seen cloud we have read about cloud but that cloud is made up of water vapor but here nebula new term so nebula is made up of hot gases and dust its temperature is very high so let me increase this one at the beginning the nebula was very big but later on it became smaller and this starts it it started rotating faster it began spin faster it's given here and when it started rotating quickly what happened when it was rotating so some mass just like if it was rotating in this way then some mass was left outside here so some circles were formed in this way like huge mass at the center and at the center small small amount of mass and when those rings were formed over there then those rings changed into planets rings changed into planets so in that we first time for example let me see here let me show you suppose there was spinning mass when it was spinning some mass went out and it became one planet again another mass went out you know in this way mass was going in out and out and it could collect it together and formed planets at different orbits you can see here there is big mass of hot gas and dust but when it became small then see here yeah, such mass was left here so mass was left here and the mass this mass is changed into planets and remaining mass at the center changed into sun changed into sun okay so that is nebular hypothesis basically in this book it's given five hypotheses but we have to read mainly three hypotheses one old planetesimal hypothesis second nebular hypothesis and what is the third one any guess third we have to read i will tell you where is the tidal hypothesis good tidal hypothesis so who gave this tidal hypothesis 
it was propounded by two American astronauts, Sir James Jeans and Sir Harold Jeffrey. James Jeans and Harold Jeffrey in 1917 AD, for a long time. After long time of those two hypotheses. So, what does it say? It says that there was sun earlier, this is sun, and one comet means long tail star having very much high power, more force of attraction came near to the sun and went. It went from this way. The sun was there earlier. But one comet, long tail star, very powerful long tail star, came suddenly from somewhere else. And we know if there are two bodies, there is mutual force of attraction. And because of attraction of comet, some mass of the sun was pulled like this. See, it was pulled like this. Mass of the sun was pulled by force of attraction of comet. Like we have studied in first chapter, tides are caused by the force of attraction between sun and earth or moon and earth, isn't it? Here also, it was in the form of liquid. Because of force of attraction of this comet, some mass was pulled up. When the mass was pulled up, it split into smaller parts like this. They did not go back again to the sun. The remaining mass, this mass, this central mass changed to sun, but these outer masses, I see, these masses change into planets, comets, satellites, etc. Dear students, now let's make your concept clear. There are mainly three theories of origin of the earth. First theory is, what is the first theory? Planetesimal theory. Simply you can say planetesimal theory. Second is nebular theory. Third is tidal theory. So just make concept clear. Planetesimal theory says that Solar system was formed from solid. Nebular theory says that solar system was formed from gas. And tidal theory or tidal hypothesis says that the solar system was formed from which one? Liquid. One says solid, one says liquid, one says gas. Okay? Remember the scientist? Planetesimal theory, George Buffon, nebular theory, Immanuel Kant, tidal theory, Jeans and Jeffrey, or same Sir James Jeans and Sir Harold Jeffrey. Done. Now, students, let's discuss next thing. What is that? Yeah. Please tell me. No, Big Bang Theory is different. Actually, uh, we are discussing about formation of the Earth or formation of solar system, isn't it? Big Bang Theory is a theory which tells us about formation of the universe, how the universe was formed. That is Big Bang Theory. Okay? Alright? Okay, so now let's go to next heading. What is here? Next heading is some data related to the earth now. So what is estimated is yeah, how old is it? Near about 4.6 billion years old. 4.6 billion means 4.6 or of years old. Area of surface 509 million 7,000 square kilometer area of lithosphere 114 million 
400 square kilometer hydrosphere means of water 361 million 3300 square kilometer diameter along the equator is 12756 kilometer mass is 6 times 10 to the power 21 this is 10 to the power 21 not 1021 metric ton one metric ton contains 1000 kg relative density is 5.7 what does it mean it means the density of earth is 5 times heavier 5.7 times heavier than the density of water now next one is the main gases in the atmosphere which gases are found there nitrogen and oxygen next one main satellite is moon and average surface temperature is 20 degree centigrade main distance from the sun is 1 au what is given 1 au what is the full form of au astronomical unit okay s a s t r o n o m i c a l astronomical unit okay so what is astronomical unit astronomical unit is the average distance between the sun and the earth you know how far is the sun from us the sun is 15 crore kilometer far away means 1.5 times 10 to the power 8 kilometer far away okay students now next thing what we are going to discuss geological time scale geological time scale so listen we came to know that the earth is 4.6 billion years ago or the, the earth is 4.6 billion years old not ago 4.6 billion years old or 4600 million years old and one time scale is there which covers its history earth's history from origin to present date that time scale is called geological time scale so the time scale the time scale that covers the earth's history from its origin to the present is called geological time scale so in geological time scale there are some divisions like eons eras periods epochs remember eons eras periods and epochs actually you know when, when we talk about time so time can measure year month day hour minute second like that isn't it so our history shows different activities in different time duration and it is divided into some intervals time intervals what are they eons eras periods and epochs but basically we have to discuss eras and periods what is study eras and periods and who divided this uh, history of the earth into different time intervals there is one organization so okay so i think 40 minutes time it goes very fast we were disturbed by something now uh, i'm going to join again okay so zoom means it's works for 40 minutes only it's connected now let's see whether students are coming or not so students what are they doing some they have come already two they have come all right three 
so let them come also and I'm going to share the screen who are in line it's okay they have come so they are coming they are coming it's good uh, Susan Mandel has come good they are coming so I was just saying about the organization which divided the arts history into different time intervals what are the different time intervals they are eon e uh, then era period and epochs right epochs okay students now let me show you once again and there was one organization i just said i u g s what is that i u g s what is the full form of i u g s international union of geological sciences this organization has divided arts history into different time intervals and some scientist they give other time intervals also like super super eon eon era period epo and age they become too much lengthy right so about those time intervals we will be discussing tomorrow okay okay students now everybody make your video on and then i will give chance to those students who are interested to speak now first okay also is there second Corona is there third please please make your video on those who are not making on their video i will remove them now because they are not interested to study okay also is there good i'm just searching here uh vivek is here uh, bina is there this ki here ko so just make your video on otherwise you will be sujal is there good now i am going to remove this ki here ko and uh, who is this sudeep is there good ki here ko and shreya if your video is off then you will be out eh, now so let me remove them because those who are not willing to means who is shreya shreya i am just removing her uh, remove is gone now which kereko kereko has gone already so that is the system okay so let me give sudip where is sudip sudip uh, video is not on why make your video on sudip okay first of all uh who is here okay also kirtan what did you uh, learn in today's class just tell me Okay, go on saying. Okay, now we just you will you continue from there. Okay, come on.
ओके ओके ना ना बी बीवे क्यों टन बीवे क्यों टन बीवे Okay. Uh, now, Binay, your turn. Okay, okay. continue, continue. Okay, yeah, okay, continue. Now, you just say. Is your need slower one? Well? Yes, sir. Oh. Okay, Sudip, your turn now. Sudip. Okay, 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 all right. It's good, good. Sudip, it's okay. Okay, now, uh, which turn? Which year? Sujal, your turn. Sujal? What happened to Sujal? Is he sleeping or what? Okay, students. So, we have started new topic, History of the Earth. In to tomorrow's class, means on Sunday, we will be discussing about different eons, eras, evolution of life on Earth, and later on fossils, and process of formation of fossils, and fossil fuel, and this chapter also will be over. So, uh, dear students, what you have to do, you have to make note. You have to write question yourself and write the answer. Write question yourself and answer also. Because that is new technique. Understood, Anna? So, so, teacher gives question and students write answer. That is one pattern. Now, new pattern is, after attending this class, write some questions on the basis of this and write answer yourself so that it will be stated in your mind yeah. please what is tell me oh means you haven't got to exercise or this uh, today's uh, matter Oh, exercise we will be discussing later on, but today's uh, this uh, matter I will be sending right now, okay? 
Okay. So thank you. Bye bye. Have a wonderful time. Okay. So, and is over.